world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have talked about my experiences, about what it's like for me to live on the autism spectrum. Then I like to give my two cents about what's going on with autism in the media. And finally, I will blog about topics that I am passionate about. So anyway, last night I decided to go out for pizza and I had happened to take my smartphone with me. And um, it was while I was waiting for my pizza and I was sipping my beverage that I decided to open up the Twitter app that is on my phone. And I had uh, found an article under a Twitter page called um, Autism Web and the article was put out by Autism Newscast Daily and uh, the article itself was written by a young man by the name of Patty Joe Moran and mind you Patty Joe is uh, also on the autism spectrum and he's only 19 years old and he has already published two books and he is also a blogger as well so anyway in his article he decides to talk about autism and transitioning into adulthood and I found that when I was reading this article that he had such compassion on people on the spectrum and uh, what parents need to do. And he didn't necessarily talk about how the, this needs to be done and that needs to be done in a really logical order. No, he uh, t said that uh, parents need to let go of uh, their child and realize that they're transitioning into an adult and that just like them, they are human and that uh, they need to be treated like a regular person, not as a monster. And uh, he also pointed out that when you hold somebody back like that and you treat them like a little kid, you're going to patronize them. And I absolutely see where he is coming from because uh, before I had moved here to Atlanta, I grew up and uh, I was limited to certain types of chores. Like uh, during my adolescence, my father would not allow me to mow the lawn because he knew I was different. and. He knew that I was impulsive and had a shorter attention span and he had very low tolerance to my types of behaviors and, you know, and little patience for teaching me. So I was never allowed to mow the lawn because he thought I would break it or he thought I would get hurt. And so when I had um, moved out on my own with uh, those roommates who were bullies to me, I um, did not know how to mow the lawn and they were mad about that. However, they too realized that uh, something was wrong and they didn't trust me with the lawnmower so therefore they were afraid to teach me. Um, that's one side of it that I'm really impressed with. And then he goes on to say that um, no matter um, how old somebody, or no matter how independent someone may become, there may always be a support system there. And uh, now as somebody who lives on the autism spectrum, uh, Mr. Moran, I uh, I respect your opinion greatly, but I do not think I agree with that. Thank you very much. I mean, there are just too many famous people out there already that uh, had Asperger's syndrome, or they have it now, and they're doing just fine. Like um, Daryl Hannah, and she's a famous actress, or Albert Einstein, and he was able to whoop, split an atom in half. And then, the, er, and then there's Dr. Temple Grandin. And for Pete's sakes, I mean, she was able to um, invent the cattle chute, and she has her own ranch out in um, Fort Collins, Colorado. So I don't agree with that. And then he said that uh, uh, he, that he realizes that not everyone on the spectrum is going to reach full independence, and they may always have to have some support, sort of a support system, like they may have to live in a group home or they may have to have a respite provider the rest of their lives. Now, now, that part I do agree with, but that really depends how much child rearing a parent can do. I mean, they need to treat them like a normal human being. They need to teach them how to do chores. They need to teach them how to mop the floor. And on top of all that, they need to uh, send them to uh, a volunteer location where they can gain all kinds of wonderful skills. I mean, no. Don't treat them like a child and don't hold them back. Um, I do think that when a uh, child is transitioning into an adult, there needs to be some basic life skills. Like, um, if you're going to treat your child like as an adult, you need to teach them how to manage money, and you need to teach them how to budget. You need to teach them how to eat properly. You need to teach them the difference between what's healthy and what's not healthy. So. If you're going to treat them like an adult, it's okay to let them out into the world, but you need to teach them the basics and, you know, and uh, determine the difference between when somebody really cares for you 
or whether they're going to take advantage of you. I mean, for those of you that live on the autism spectrum and uh, those of you that don't live on the spectrum, I would really appreciate some comments below. And uh, in the next video, I would like to blog about it. So please be sure to comment below. And if uh, you are interested in hearing about other things that I have to say, don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and uh, be sure to share with others that are on the autism spectrum and those that have nothing uh, or they know nothing about autism. So until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.